Hi guys, my name is Zach and today I will show you how to create the simple cube in Adobe Illustrator using Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel. So uh, it's a very powerful tool, very simple to use. All you have to use beside the tool is your imagination. So I'm going to move the original here and I'm going to draw a square using the rectangle tool with the same color obviously and uh, I'm going to uh, effects menu 3, 3d extrude and bevel now this is the extrude and bevel menu I'm gonna click on your options for now and by clicking the preview button you see that this uh, by far doesn't look anything like a cube so I will add a extrude depth that's the option right here and I will add 150 points so this is a bit too large, let's decrease it to 135, let's see what we get, there we go. So these values are things I've used, uh, I've used before, so um, I know them, you're gonna have to play with uh, the depth and the perspective and the angles yourself. For now I'm going to use the default off-axis front view of our cube, and as you can see this doesn't look really like a cube because it appears that the back side of the cube is kind of bigger so we're gonna have to change that the only way to change it using this tool is the perspective now bear with me this is a very important option here if you don't add a different perspective of, uh, of your element it will appear wrong on the overall design that you're working on it will appear so wrong and you will be wondering what you did wrong so if you ever if you have ever encountered anything like this before here is your mistake what you need to do is in this view is add more perspective I'm going to go with 110 uh, degrees here and you see now this appears to be more like it it shifts the position of, uh, of our object and the side that it in the size that it creates to appear more realistic and in the more options menu what I'm going to do is add uh, some light intensity and the ambient light I'm going to increase it a little bit uh, not that's too much so uh, I'm going to add another source of light here I'm going to move this source of light almost to the top and I'm going to add another source of light on the new light option I'm going to move it back down oh, well in our case in the front so this highlights our surfaces in a different it, it colors them differently which means the light is different so in order not to see the top and the front uh, side of the cube the same color I will adjust the bottom light uh, intensity to let's say 60% um, so this appears a bit wrong but bear with me it will be right as, uh, as soon as we uh, adjust uh, our things here I'm going to move this all the way to the top and um, I'll, at this point the other options here are not really important so I'm going to leave it I'm going to leave it as it is I'm going to decrease this one here to 50% there we go and uh, now we get to see something that that looks like a cube more than previously now this is what we got so far I'm going to the objects menu expand appearance now we have all, all our surfaces of the cube selectable we're going to ungroup it and uh, as you can see I can separate them do whatever I want with them I'm just going to leave them as they are and I'm going to select the front surface I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm not going to paste it anywhere but I'm going to draw a circle here I'm going to the gradient option and use this gradient now the default you see here is black and white this is not what we want we want white on the uh, on the ones on the one side and white on the other except for the uh, left side we're going to decrease our opacity to zero percent and we are going with radial so I will move my object to uh, the circle to uh, let's say this corner here and you see this appears to be wrong what we want to do is highlight the the corner and a part of the surface first I'm going to increase the circle so it stretches a bit more on the front side uh, so this is the top right uh, source of light indicates 
the, uh, the front and a bit of the top are inflicted, but our gradients are wrong, so I'm going to use the reverse gradient option. And this appears to be more like it. But uh, in order to add a more realistic effect, I'm going to the transparency menu, decrease these to 80% and I will use soft light. Now, this is more like it, but it still appears to be kind of wrong. So uh, why is this? Because it kind of touches the, surf the top surface, but I don't want that. I want uh, my top surface to have um, different light because the top light is more um, is more intense uh, as we chose in the options uh, of the 3D extrude and bevel option. So I will move this down here and uh, I'm going to leave it there and if you remember I copied this surface so I'm going to press Control F and I'm going to paste it in place. Now I'm going to shift, I'm going to use the shift button from my keyboard and select the circle that I created then right click and make a clipping mask. Now we have the front surface only, the front surface highlighted. For the top surface, I'm going to use a different light, more intense. I'm going to draw a circle again. I'm going to use the gradient. I'm going to use the same options, the same settings, and I'm going to center it with the top surface. I'm going to just uh, increase it a little bit more so it kind of covers almost the entire surface and uh, I'm going to select the top surface of the, the cube, I'm going to copy it and paste it in place again and I am going to bring it to the front, arrange, bring to front. Now I will select, well before I do this, I'm going to the transparency menu, this is something more like it except um, that's what I want except for a soft light part and now I will make a clipping mask again and this is even better than the one before. So this is how you simply use the 3D extrude and bevel option and uh, it's very powerful tool, very very simple to use. You can play with the options here as you can see there are other numerous options in, uh, in the position menu in, uh, this is how you manually here you can manually adjust the, the the rotation on every axis you can change the perspectives the way you want it at depth it goes maximum to 2000 points and back to zero etc etc uh, this is these cap this cap tool I, I will explain uh, in my other videos how to use it uh, the, the surface of uh, of the objects that we're creating etc etc these are all uh, options that I will explain in my other videos for now just try to practice with what we have here try create uh, other simple uh, shapes and forms and try adding uh, extrude depth see what happens and I'm expecting that you will have a lot of fun using this so write me back inscribe like my video if you learned something new I will get back at you in a day or two with another video. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed it. See ya.